Beauty Boot Camp week three. And if you're new here, I'm Devon Monet, professional makeup artist and model. This week, we're going to be going over all things setting the face. So if that's what you're into, stay tuned and let's dive right in. Now, if you're new here, make sure you check out Beauty Boot Camp week one, where we talk all things skincare and Beauty Boot Camp week two, where we talk all things base routine. And now, if you've tuned in for one and two, let's get into setting this makeup, honey. Before we dive in, I need to have some chit chat. Like, how are we feeling? How's it going? Are you guys learning? Is this resonating with you all? Please let me know in the comments so I can tailor this to everything being understood. Is it digestible? Like, please, I would love your feedback. I'm new to this teaching style on YouTube. Let me put my hair back real quick so we can dive in to setting our makeup. Okay, the hair down is really cute but when it's time to do makeup, it just gets in the way. We are gonna be setting our makeup. Last week we went over laying down the base. Everyone calls it my beautiful base routine, flawless face routine, whatever you wanna call it, we went over it. We went over foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush, all of the things, and now we need to set it. Anything that is applied as a cream or a liquid on the face, it needs to set. Otherwise, it is subject to separating or honestly just not lasting all day. So before we go in and set, I'm just going to make sure I take another look at my face just to make sure that everything is laying in place how I like. Use this compact. How cute is this Charlotte compact? I love it. It has a beautiful mirror. It's the perfect size. I'm going to take a look at my mirror and make sure that everything is blended out how I desire before we go in and set. It's always easier to adjust and fix things in this phase. I like how this looks. What do you all think? Cute, right? Perfect. So when it comes to setting the face, your tools are super important. I like to use brushes and a powder puff. These are the brushes that I'll be using throughout setting our face. This is the powder puff that I'll be using. So first we're gonna go in with Huda Beauty Powder. This is in the shade Peach Pie. Everybody has been raving about I'm using it for the first time on myself today. I just did it on a client yesterday and it looked gorgeous. So we're going to open her up. I have the mini one. The mini ones are perfect because they still have a lot of powder in them, but they do come in a larger size. I then like to pour the powder in my hand. It looks like this. I use a brush first to go in under the eye. Pick up the product, dust off the excess. We just don't want extra powder causing splotches under the eye. I then like to dust a layer of powder under the eye. Oh, first thought, this is beautiful. Powder, it works extremely well on warm undertones. It is fragrant though. Do you see how that instantly mattified? And a powder puff would just be too much pressure and application in my opinion. You have way more control when you go in with a fluffy brush first. Again, picking up that powder, dusting off the excess, and then going in on the other eye as well and just dusting that all over. And then I'm gonna hit the top of the lip because we went in there with concealer as well and we wanna make sure that's nice and mattified. The bridge of the nose, and add some powder there. And I like to keep the forehead pretty natural so we're just gonna add a little bit of powder there. I just add a little bit of powder to the forehead because I still want the makeup to look nice and natural and radiant. And sometimes when you just put a little too much powder in that area, it can just look a little too perfect, right? Like we still want to give skin, at least on this channel. We still always want to give skin, okay? I'm going to go in with the brush that I use for the face and just make sure I blend out my smile lines. Because I talk a lot, I naturally always have creasing in that area, so I want to make sure I set that area my smile lines with a little powder as well keep in mind the huda beauty peach pie powder is a brightening powder which i love because i love a bright under eye but if you're not a bright under eye girly there is beautiful options for huda beauty like sugar cookie pound cake kanafa banana bread that you can use as well under the eye that sets it beautifully other powders that i love would be Givenchy, Derma Blend Pro, RCMA, Translucent Powder. Those are beautiful stunning powders that you can use as well. Now that we've set the under eye, it is now time to set our contour. Again, I'm gonna keep repeating it because you need to know and it needs to be stuck in your head. Anything applied with a cream or liquid should be set with a powder if you want it to last all day. Now for setting my contour, I'll be using the Charlotte Flawless Finishing Powder in the shade three and four. Mix the two, these are the minis, I love them so much, they're so cute. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of three and then pick up a little bit of four and then pick a little bit of three and pick a little bit of four and just make my own little concoction. I'm gonna go right into the hollows of the cheek and press that powder in 
and see how it just emphasized the natural contour that was already there so that's what I want to do and I don't want to bring the powder down again we want everything to be lifted up you also don't want this area to look muddy so you want to make sure again you keep it right there and then blend it out that's why your tools are super important so this is a fluffier brush but it is a little bit more dense and it also has an angle to it, so it helps to just stay in that focused area. Again, same thing both sides. As a makeup artist, we're always making some kind of concoction. I love using three and four, just because four is a little too deep and three is a little too light, but three and four together is like a perfect shade. It doesn't come in 3.5, so I'm gonna make my own 3.5. Keeping it right in that area and then blending it out. Making the space helps just to get in that space. I then like to go in on the forehead, make sure you blend it into your hairline. A little bit of a mirror check. That's all blended out. Now with the shade three only, I'm gonna go in on the side of my brush, add a little bit of that powder, dust off the excess, and then just go on the sides of my nose. I don't like a huge nose contour, but adding some definition is always nice. And then just bringing that on into the eyelid into the crease. Lastly, just gonna hit the chin and make sure that's blended out. Go in just a little bit on the sides of the face. The pro tip is to always just hit the ears. Again, you don't want your ears just looking stark. So we just go in with a little bit of bronzer on the ears on both sides. Taking a look and I'm happy with how this looks. And onto my favorite part, I'm a blush girl, so we're gonna go in with blush. Huge fan of the Juvia's Place blushes. This is volume four. Looks like this has both these beautiful pink shades. So I'm gonna go in with both shades. I'm gonna use the darker pink first and then go in with the light pink. But because I like to have everything be cohesive, I'm gonna be using the same brush and I'm gonna dive into this pink. This is what it looks like on the brush. I'm gonna dust the excess off on my hand. I'm gonna place the brush on the top of my cheekbone and blend that out. Oh, look how beautiful that looks. Like, stunning. Always start with less and then go in with more. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side now. Of course, still keeping everything nice and lifted. Like y'all, stop, this looks so pretty. Like, so Barbie, fun, pink. I go in with the lighter pink. Don't be intimidated with lighter colors. Like, this is still super pretty. Do you how pigmented this is? Super pigmented at the start of where we place the blush and then I'm gonna bring it in a little bit more under to where the concealer is. So still bringing it up high so it blends and then right under to where the concealer is. And now we have created like an ombre effect for our blush. So it goes light to dark and the contour is there. It just looks snatched. Then I'm gonna blend what's left of the brush onto the back of my hand like so and then just go in and blend everything out and then even touch right below the brow just so like we talked about when we are applying our cream layers we just want it to be a little bit of color and if color is not your thing in that area you don't have to and again like we talked about previously is touching the nose with a little bit of that color going with a little flush of color on the forehead and the chin and this is what we're looking like so far. Now, everyone's favorite part, we're gonna go in with finishing powder. I'm gonna be using shade two to set under the eye. This is when I use my powder puff. So I take my powder puff, I go into my little compact, A2, make sure the powder is on there. Always make sure you dust off the excess powder and then going in right under the eye. I like to start on the side of the nose. This gives the illusion of that contour and then just pull up. Again, making sure everything's lifted. And do you see how that just blends into the blush? Like, it looks so good. It blends in so beautifully. And of course, same thing both sides. And with the powder puff, use their powder puff to go in your compact, add that powder. Dust off the excess powder. We don't want just extra powder floating around on our face. Side of the nose, apply the powder continue under the eye. Make sure you apply in a lifted motion so that the foundation of the makeup continues to look nice and lifted. And with a little bit more of that same shade two powder to the sides of the nose, just to make sure it's nice and snatched how I desire. 
And then I'm gonna apply that same powder to the bridge of the nose. And the excess powder I apply to my forehead. And see how this gives the illusion of a contoured nose where we didn't go in with a harsh contour, but just by adding our setting powder, it gives that illusion. I love makeup so much. But this is what we're looking like now. Very cute. Now we're gonna leave this and let this sit while we finish the rest of the face. So now with that same powder puff, I'm picking this up, I'm picking up shade three in the finishing powder. I'm dipping the puff in the powder, making sure the puff is filled with powder, again, dusting off the excess. And now we're gonna carve out the face. Under that contour, I'm gonna bring that powder to the side of my mouth. I just like to press that in because I don't want this to set too much. I'm just gonna press this into the skin. And I like to, as a rule of thumb, like to go from the middle of the ear to the mouth. See how pretty that looks? Stunning. Same thing both sides, it's always. So here, to the side of the mouth. Then. And then with the excess, just go right under the lip, the smile line above the lip. Now that we're done with that, the powder puff, same powder puff, going in and pressing in the pressed powder that we put in under the eye. Again, still keeping that nice and pulled up. And that kind of blends together seamlessly because we, we first went in under the eye with two and then, then we sculpted under the contour with shade three. Now there's shade three residue on the puff. So when we press it in, it just blends in seamlessly, meeting us at like a 2.5, which again, Charlotte doesn't make. And then same thing on the forehead, blending everything out. This is what the face looks like. Now this is a great place to stop. But if you're a girl that likes to look bright, I have one more step for you. Givenchy powder, this is the rose powder. So we're gonna mix a little bit of this rose powder with the peach just to create a cute customized under eye powder. We're gonna dust that under the eye. Add a little rose to my hand. It's the rose. Add a little peach pie from Huda. Some of my brush, I'm gonna combine these together. Creating our little concoction. This is what it looks like. Same powder puff. Shades. Dust it off, as always. We're always dusting it off. We're gonna press this in under the eye. Just like that. Because this eye has a little bit more, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more product right under the eye. We're not letting this sit, we're just pressing, and dusting it away. And we're doing that in a lifted motion. Now with the excess, just going into the bridge of the nose, I like to keep this right in the center of the face. Now that added brightness and luminosity. Back in with the same brush that we used to apply our powder bronzer and our powder blush, First, we're gonna to touch up the blush. I'm just gonna mix these two together. Dust off a little. Reapply that blush. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls wear a lot of blush. Does 2024. And because we used a little peach, why not just add a little bit of the peach blush? It's a peach lemonade cocktail and it's so cute. Totally just made a dent in my bronzer, but gonna go in with shade four. Press that in to the face. And see how we use this for blush, but now that we put the bronzer on top, all we see is bronzer, that's fine. That's actually what we want. Dust to the perimeter of the head, the sides of the nose, lightly. Pull that up into the crease. Last step, we're gonna take our fluffy brush and an all over face powder and just dust powder all over the face. This is MAC Studio Fix Powder. Got my brush coated up. This is in the shade C7. We're just dusting that all over the face. Bring it down to the chin, touch the ears. Turn to the side so you can see what it looks like. 
the face is sitting. Now that we've set the face with powders, we have to apply our setting spray so it looks more like skin and luminous and lasts all day. First, going in with Charlotte Airbrush Falls Filter, of course. Let that dry down with our fan. Then I love the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I like to apply my setting mist setting spray from a distance, like at least six to 12 inches away from the face, just so it doesn't leave those blotches. Of course, if you like a matte finish or just need your makeup to hold, go in with the mattifying setting spray. This one is from Makeup Revolution. After I use a mattifying setting spray, because I like to look luminous, I like to go back in with the luminous setting spray. So back in with Charlotte I go. Fan it off. Use that all over face powder brush again. Just what was left, press everything in. And that is our set face, honey. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And I'll see you next week for Beauty Bootcamp Week 4. Hey y'all, again, thank you so much for joining me for Beauty Bootcamp Week 3. I had so much fun. Setting is one of my favorite things. I love a bright under eye. So if you have any more questions, if it wasn't clear, don't hesitate to reach out. And I'll see y'all next week for Beauty Bootcamp Week 4. Bye!